Watch Game Kings, The Definition of Game, documentary by joining the Bad Boy Membership. Go to badboymembership.com right now and be one of the first people to watch this movie. Official release date, Black Friday, November 27th, 2020. Yo, yo, what's going on? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber and this subscriber sent a donation. So thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation. All right. So this one is a, a, a long email, but I want to read this whole thing so that you guys really get the gist of it. I want you to hear what this guy is saying. And this actually is a guy who called into the live stream uh a few weeks ago um and he he had the nickname sushi i don't know if y'all remember that is this um asian dude and he said like some girls was making fun of him calling him sushi or some some crazy but anyway so this this is what he he writes and i actually gave him my um my book how to have sex to him today so he says he says hey i'm i'm sushi <laughs> so he's calling himself that now i guess it's whatever but he says I called into your live show on YouTube a couple of weeks ago. I did finish reading your book. I did start approaching more. I have dating questions for you. Um, and he says, uh, I'll give you my basic info first. I'm 21 years old. I was born in China. I came to the U.S. in 2014 for school. I'm studying at the University of Pittsburgh now. Um, appearance, six feet, 180 pounds. Wears glasses, uh, uh, mad men hairstyle, brown hair, brown eyes. I play the saxophone. Uh, my penis is average pause. Uh, the stereotype about the size is false. I do have a lot of confidence in my appearance, including looks, groom and dressing styles. Frankly, I don't think there is another East Asian man on the planet. That's as cool as I am. Unlike most East, East Asian men, I actually do style my hair. Most East Asian men have that short, uh, sp uh, spiky haircut. I call it a uh, haircut since they only have it cut. But they never style it. I'm currently using a hairstyle that Matthew McConaughey had and have my own twist added to it. It is soft looking, but with dimensions. I don't dress like most of my peers, meaning that not a uh, mainstream college style, like a bunch of sports clothing, clothes with huge uh, school logos, sweatshirts and sweatpants. I don't agree with it since people are not doing sports and I don't want to advertise for my school. I'm, I now wear a fleece jacket, a pair of jeans and a pair of uh, Asics running shoes. My spoken uh, English is great. People think I was born in the U.S. I walk with my head up, shoulders back, unlike most East Asian men in this country, walking with their heads down all the time. I look people in their eyes when interacting with them. I have basic knowledge about the U.S. society. I don't talk like a nerd. I try to talk like Matthew McConaughey. There's a little street in my speech. I think it is a very cool way to talk. Um... Stuck sums up my situation. I do want to have sex with women, and that is my primary objective. I'm still a virgin. Dating is second a secondary objective. I was too shy to admit it on the live stream. I don't mean to disrespect, defend, or mess with you when I speak of race in this email. My target group is eight and above on a scale from zero to ten. Mainstream white women, nice boobs, nice hips, slim leggings, long hair. I think they are the most beautiful women on the planet. Uh, there is no comparison with East Asian women. White women are superior in every way. Better looks, more sophisticated, more tolerant, in a word, cooler. I think my racial identity is holding me back. I am Chinese. White boys get all sorts of women all the time. White dudes have it easy. They get sex left and right. A white guy can get with women of any race, whether she's white, black, East uh, Asian, Indian, Hispanics, etc. I see them ev uh, everywhere. An East Asian man, however, is at the bottom of this, the sex market. As a group in the U.S., it is hard to get any with any woman, even our own. It is very common to see the East Asian woman uh, and white guy combination. While it is hardly ever seen where an East Asian um, um, man with a woman from other races, East Asian men are portrayed as non-sexual in the U.S. society. They make us look like monks, super shy men, sissies, prudish around the topic of sex, scared of it and don't want to. And don't want it. Women don't view me as a sexual object. I think that's part of the problem. Women check me out all the time. And some of them 
advance further, like getting in my vicinity. When I do ask them out, they all turn me down consistently too. All the women in the US that I have had closer relationships with are marginalized groups and some of them get closer to me because of their Asian fetishes. Uh, these people creep me out. I do like, I don't like them. That sort of objectification is heavy. Random people see me on the street and then start to uh, pop East Asian stereotypes, uttering words such as sushi, kung fu, Jackie Chan, <laughs> ninja chopstick, small slash short size, and so on. All right, guys, I'm telling you this is this is long, but we about to we about to uh, uh, end this real quick. Okay, he says I I do not get bothered or and weirded out. I do not know what their motives are. Like you said, they could be making fun of me. They could be mean. They could be wanting to engage me. Uh, these things uh, happen so often, and I don't know what to do about them. I do not have a good comeback. I cannot punch them because that's illegal, even though I feel that is the only way to stop this behavior. I cannot call them out on it because I do not know for sure if they were targeting me. I cannot go to confront them in their faces because I look crazy, like a crazy person. Uh, uh, and then he says, um, in addition, I have to challenge your methods you advise that men should only get with cooperative women. Another thing I have uh, to challenge you is the give women your contact info. In my experience, that never worked. Uh, they do not con they do not call me. It seems that they are so passive that they want me to make all the moves. So it comes back to me asking their contact info. The women that make it easy for me are the unattractive ones, and the women that are attractive that I want usually give me a hard time. I assume this is shit test, and even more saddening in, in my situation is that these women that make it easy for me are extremely marginalized groups, and that makes me depressed because they are reflections of me. LGBTQ, fat girls, weird girls, black girls, old women, divorced women, uh, weeaboos, I don't know what that is, koreaboos. <laughs> And people who like Asian culture. I'm not that surprised that they come on so aggressively since I know they are low value, desperate, and have nothing to lose. Another example of these people objectifying me is that they automatically assume that I'm into anime. They dress and, uh, and behave like anime characters because they think like it. While in fact, I do not like anime at all. And the type of women I like are those white women in Hollywood movies. I do not watch anime frequently at all. Uh, um, I know that anime is extremely popular. Uh, hold on. Let me see. I'm trying to get to this the important bars. These people are nothing, uh, to my close target group. Eight and above mainstream white women is my group. Tall, nice boobs, nice hips, slim leggings, long hair, behave with confidence and style. I noticed this one thing they all do, uh, consistently when I approach pretty women, I want to offer you some clues. They all act surprised and scared. I encounter heavy resistance and they, and then they reject me. I have a boyfriend is the most common one or when even I just get a little bit closer, they turn their shoulder, look down, evade, uh, fake, dumb, fake, deaf, being confrontational and ignore. One of my approaches is to give them my phone with my dial interface on so they know to enter their phone number without me saying anything. I also do the direct approaches like you said. Um, I interpret this sometimes as they, they are intimidated by me, uh, that I am the coolest looking Asian dude ever and the only East Asian man that has the balls to approach women and even non-Asian women or my, or is my approach wrong? And I do get intimidated by pretty women, especially the ones that dress very provocatively and with revealing clothing. I'm afraid to get caught staring at them. After all, it's not polite to stare. And then he sent some pictures of himself. And, you know, he, he's a, a, a decent looking dude. He just, you know, he needs to just work on his style a little bit. I'd, I'd say you should work out a little bit and you'll be fine. And But also, that's just on the, the appearance part. Okay, so now, that's a long ass fucking email. <laughs> okay, I told you I was going to be long as shit. But there's a few things here that's that that's the issue there's a few things here that's the issue okay one bruh you gotta stop worshiping white people you understand what i'm saying you sounding like one of these uh like black pillars or they're like oh the race pill and the black pill and you know if you're if you're uh white then you're this and if you're black or you're this or you're Asian that's ridiculous you understand what I'm saying it's ridiculous see the thing is you're putting white women on a pedestal you understand because 
what's funny, what, what, what I find interesting is that you said that people will fetishize you because you're Asian. Like certain people that certain women, I guess that would, would be interested in you fetishize you because you're Asian. But at the same time, you're fetishizing white women. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is ironic. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're putting white women on a pedestal and you're like, oh my God, they're the most gorgeous women on earth. Now, listen, you like what you like. You understand and, and understand that you're conditioned to think that white women are the, the best shit since sliced bread. And this is coming from a, a, a guy who has a white girlfriend and a white wife. You understand? And I'm, I'm telling you that it's not a thing where, oh, well, white women are better or black women are better or Asian women are better. I've, I've dated women from all walks of life. The reason why I have a white girlfriend and a white wife is just by circumstance meaning i met them at the time i met them i liked them and we we kept fucking with each other <laughs> it's that simple you see what i mean but there's nothing better or worse or more special or this or that uh based off of race and all that other stuff because you were saying oh well these uh weird girls or these black girls and all these uh other girls they're low value but the white women they're like amazing right and so understand that you are not going to get with these white women you want to get with thinking that way. It's not going to happen because you're you're putting them on a pedestal. You understand what I'm saying? You're putting them on a pedestal. Now, again, ain't that wrong with you being attracted to them and, and thinking they're hot and all that other stuff. But you're 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 you, you got to stop putting them on a pedestal. You understand? Period. That's 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 you got to do that shit first. You just stop doing that stuff. And, and, and you have to change that mindset of thinking that they're better and also thinking that white guys just got it easier oh well if you're white you know it's gonna be uh super easy i you know i would like to direct you to your nearest rsd seminar <laughs> you understand what i'm saying even though i they don't i don't know if they do the pickup stuff anymore but rsd used to have uh huge seminars filled with white dudes you understand trying to trying to learn how to get women so it's not this thing where, oh, well, you're white, so it's going to be easy. No, 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 no. You understand what I'm saying? You need game, whether you're white, black, Asian, brown, purple, turquoise, whatever the fuck it is. You understand? You guys got to get off of that, um, you know, thought process of, oh, well, if you're white, it's going to be easier. And if I'm Asian, it's going to be harder. And if you're black, this is good. That's the mindset that's holding you back. And this mindset is holding you back right now because... What happens also is that you're trying to uh you you you're you're putting up this sort of false or pseudo confidence. <laughs> you're like, "Well, I'm the coolest Asian guy ever." You understand now again, it's 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 good for you to be to 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 feel like you're cool. But again, you are looking at it in the context of, "Well, I'm such a cool Asian guy because in your mind, you probably think that Asian guys aren't cool. It's like I remember back in the day I used to have uh women say to me, "Oh, you're 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 cute for a dark skin guy." That's not a compliment. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? That's not a compliment. So it's it's it sounds like the same thing where you're well, I'm I'm like a really cool Asian. I'm not like those other Asian guys. I'm a I'm the cool one. You understand what I'm saying? So what you what you're doing is that you're indirectly putting down Asian dudes you understand what I'm saying and you're indirectly putting down yourself thinking that you're bigging up yourself see you guys got to be careful about the shit that you say <laughs> you feel what I'm saying my dude Miles did a video about that the other day that you know you got to be careful about the words you use and how you how you say certain things right so you know you got to get off that whole race thing that's that's that that's the biggest thing that's holding you back you understand and you got to tap into who you are as a person because you're like oh well i'm the cool asian guy and i put my hair like matthew mcconaughey and i'm trying to talk like matthew mcconaughey because i put white people on a pedestal and i put my hair like matthew mcconaughey because i want to be like that white boy this is what you're doing so you're disregarding who you are and you're trying to be like somebody else you understand? You're trying to be like some white boy running after white women. You understand? 
And, and that's, that's the issue. You're not being who you are. You're not being yourself. Stop calling yourself sushi. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Call yourself by your name. Be who you are. Right? Go after any type of woman you want. Talk to them. And make it happen with whatever woman you're trying to get at. But the thing is, is that understand putting the 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 these chicks on a pedestal. You understand what I'm saying? That's going to make it to where you're not going to get them or it's going to be extremely hard to get them if you if you get them or if you try to get them. And that's because you're already coming at them by putting them up on that pedestal. You see what I'm saying? You have to you have to get rid of that that thought process of, oh, well, these women are higher or better because they're white and all these other women they're they're you, you, what you say like lower value <laughs> you understand they're 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 like below all of these wonderful white women like stop that bro stop it that right there within itself is going to make it to where you're not going to be able to get shit popping with with these women because you're already saying that they're above you I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's obvious she's above you because she's white, right? And you're, you're below because white people are above you, right? The white boys get all the girls and the white women are the, the most beautiful women ever in life, right? So, so if that's the case, why should they get with you? Cool Asian guy. Why? Why don't they just get with another white person since white people are the best? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You see how 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 ridiculous it, it, it sounds or, or how crazy it is because by your logic they shouldn't get with you you understand they shouldn't get with you these 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 amazing beautiful white women should not even get with you because they're so amazing and they're the best and then the white guys are the best so they should just be getting with each other right you see what i'm saying you see how your thought process is going to be the thing that's going to stop you from getting the success you want. Cause you're like, I want, I want eights and, and, and you know, eights and above and chicks with the nice boobs and the, the, the sexiest girls and all that other stuff. Okay, cool. You and everybody else, <laughs> you and everybody else. Right. But what are you doing to get that? Why, why is, why are those girls going to fuck with you? Why? What are they getting out of fucking with you? Because see, women aren't going to be attracted to guys putting them on a pedestal. Women aren't going to be attracted to guys who are thinking like, oh my gosh, she's the most amazing thing since sliced bread. And I'm so, I'm so happy and pleased that she would grace me with her, her godly presence. Like what God, women aren't going to want to fuck with guys who think that way. And that's how you're thinking about the women. So by, by default, they're, they're not going to want to fuck with you. You're going to be looked at as unattractive to them. You understand? And also you were talking about the, you know, the, the giving the girls the number and all that other stuff. Look, you can give girls number. You could take their number. Either way, if the girl is feeling you, she's going to be responsive. That's all. It, that's all it is. It doesn't matter if you give her your number or you take her number and call her. If she's feeling you, she's going to be responsive. So if you give her your number. And she's feeling you, then she will call you. If you take her number and you hit her up, you text her, you call her, she'll pick up the phone. If you call her, she'll she'll text you right back if if you text her. You understand? So that's 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 is irrelevant. You understand? What you need to work on now is you need to work on your mindset. You gotta switch up that mindset, man. You sounding like one of these black pill dudes and like, oh well, you know, the looks and the race and the you know, it's you know, the race is gonna make it. Uh, you know, harder because since I'm an Asian guy, it's going to be harder for me to get girls. No, listen, dude, I know plenty of Asian dudes who get pussy. A lot of pussy. You understand what I'm saying? It's not about, it's not about you being Asian, bro. It's not about you being Asian and the, you know, the, the Asian girl, like, look, look, bro, there's a lot of Asian women who, who fuck with white dudes. There's a lot of Asian women who fuck with black dudes. There's a lot of Asian women who fuck with Asian dudes. See, the thing is, is that what, what people don't understand is that it's about you going after what you want and getting what you want. You understand? It's about that individual 
doing what they need to do to get what they want and going out there and putting themselves out there. See, a lot of times dudes be sitting from the sidelines, you understand, watching too many of these damn videos where dudes are like, well, you know, it's over for you, bro. You can't make this happen because, you know, these type of women only want these type of guys. And if you're not these type of guys and you're not going to get this going on. And it's like, you know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of when, you know, when, when you hear people say, oh, well, three every three out of four businesses fail and you shouldn't bother being an entrepreneur because you'll never make money or you can't do this and you're, you're not going to be able to make it and this is never going to happen and yada, 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 right? So people will always say these things, but there's always the motherfuckers who made it. You understand? What about them? What about the people who actually are successful in business? What about the people who are actually making the money? What about the people who are, who've actually done it? So, so it can be done. And people have done it and they continue to do it and they're still doing it now. So what about you? See, the people who aren't doing it or who don't make it are the ones who didn't want it bad enough. The ones who didn't put themselves out there, the ones who quit. That's the that's the part of the story they don't talk, talk about. That's the side they don't really say. They just say, oh, well, it can't happen or it's not going to happen. OK, yeah, it, it didn't happen. But why didn't it happen for that person? What were they doing? This is why like, I get dudes hit me up all the time. Bro, I'm, 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 I'm not getting girls. You know, I, I'm trying to talk to girls and it's not happening. I'm like, okay, how many girls you talk to? Uh, well, I, how many two girls do you talk to this week? Uh, well, two. So you talk to two girls this week and you telling me women don't want you? Nigga, stop. You understand what I'm saying? Stop. So, bro, what you need to do is, again, you got to switch that mindset up. Get off this fucking race shit. You understand what I'm saying? Now, again, if you're attracted to white women, that's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But stop putting them on a pedestal. But also stop downplaying or disrespecting yourself and other people who are non-white thinking that they are below white people and thinking white people are above. Like, stop that. You're, 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 you got conditioned by fucking white supremacy. You're a victim. You understand what I'm saying? Stop. Get that nonsense out your head. You understand what I'm saying? Listen, as a black dude, I've I listen, I don't have any problems fucking with any chick from any fucking race. Like I've it's I've never listen. There's this there's regular uh you know issues that I had with women coming up trying to learn how to get women in general like just man to woman but it's it's never been a situation never not one time where it was like damn i can't get that white girl because i'm black or i can't get that asian girl because i'm black or black women don't want to fuck with me because i'm not a pookie and ray ray or i can't get that puerto rican girl like it's never never been a problem not one time you understand what i'm saying look don't the there's there's only been issues where like, let's say, for example, yeah, I've probably been with a, a white girl who probably had maybe some racist parents and she was scared to like she didn't want me to meet her family and shit like that. But as far as as far as me dealing with her and her wanting to fuck with me, never a problem. So you guys got to get off that bullshit, man. Like, stop with the nonsense, you know, switch up your mindset, bro. Start going out there and approaching the type of woman you want. Right. And, 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 you know, like be consistent with it and also understand that this shit ain't going to happen overnight. And, and see, you got to understand that if you want these eights, nines and tens that these white eight, nines and tens and all that other shit, you have to be on point, right? You have to actually be confident about you. Not you thinking, oh, well, I'm trying to be like Matthew McConaughey and I'm talking like him and I'm, you know, cooler than all the other Asian guys. That's not going to cut it. You have to get in, in tune with who you are. Stop calling yourself sushi. You understand what I'm saying? Get in tune with who you are. Focus on you. What makes you interesting? What makes you the shit? And then you you interact with women. You bring that energy to them and, and take these chicks off the goddamn pedestal. When you're talking to these white girls, don't be up in their face think, acting like they doing you a favor. Don't be up in their face 
happy that you're talking to some white bitch. You understand what I'm saying? Like, stop the nonsense, bro. All right, so that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, uh, uh, hit me up. Click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below and get your bad boy gear. Get the t-shirts. Submissive women are sexy. Binary as fuck. And I'm God to these hoes. Click the link below to get your bad boy gear today. Now, before you go, click the link below and go to badboymembership.com. Now, badboymembership.com is a place where you go to get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. Listen, I know you're tired of being rejected. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of being afraid to approach women. Go to badboymembership.com. I know you're tired of not getting the women that you want. Go to badboymembership.com. Listen, I know you're tired of being alone on a Friday night. Go to badboymembership.com. Now picture this. You'll go from not getting what you want when it comes to you dealing with women to actually getting what you want, to being the guy women want to be with, women want to date, women want to have sex with. All you need to do is go to badboymembership.com, follow the steps, learn the game, implement the game, and then you will get the woman you want. Make sure you go to badboymembership.com today. Click the link below.